Okay, so I need to fill this up with a gradient. That's a text. If I do um, rasterize it, I lose the quality of that text. So if I scale it up or down, it changes quality. So I don't want to rasterize it really. I want to keep it as a text layer. And here I'm going to click on F to add a gradient overlay. Now whenever I do that, I can click change the gradient to whatever I like. I can change the orientation or the angle. And I can um, choose the different uh, style for the gradient. So if it's radial, this yellow color will be in the center and then it expands outwards until the last color which is over here. So that's how you would add a gradient. Now the question is, can I add a picture in the background of the text? The answer is of course yes. But for this to work, yeah, Lara, for this to work, so now everyone will know that you were talking when I was recording this. I would uh, need a picture. And I need to define something called a pattern from that picture. Let's see how this works. If I open any picture and I make a selection, for example, to this part here. All right. And then I choose edit and define pattern. I'm going to leave the set to pattern one, although you can change name to whatever you like. I'll press OK. So now this is a pattern that I can use in another effect called pattern overlay. So if I click on F and I'll choose pattern overlay, here I have a list of ready-made patterns available with Photoshop. So you can click to choose whichever one you like. And here you will see that the text is actually filling with that pattern. But if I go to the end, that's my own pattern that I just created. So it's going to fill up the text with the pattern that I had. I can change the scale to make it smaller or bigger. Now, of course, if I make it bigger, it's going to start to get blurry because I have a small image that I'm stretching out by scaling it up. So the best thing to do actually is to leave it set to 100% in terms of quality. But you can change the size the way you like it. So that's adding this to the text. Can I add it to something else? Yes, of course. If I create a new layer and I made a selection, let's say with my lasso tool, something freeform like this. All right. If I go to F and choose pattern overlay and selected my pattern and pressed OK, nothing would happen. Who knows why? No, it's not about the mask here. Yeah, because it's empty. I need to fill the selection with something. So let's fill it with any color. Now, when you fill it with any color, it's going to be filled up with a pattern like this. All right. Now, what can I do also with this? I can go and use my eraser tool to erase the pattern. I can press Control A and press Delete. I can use my brush to write with this pattern. So I can select a brush here and type something. And whatever you, or paint something, whatever you paint will be filled with that pattern. Why? Because I have pattern overlay selected over here. Now, we saw that it works, of course, but it doesn't work very well in case I wanted to fill the whole text because it's not uh, of good quality. So I'm going to delete that layer. I'm going to go back to my original image. And this time, I'm going to select let's say a bigger size for the pattern. So I'll go like this, for example. And maybe add uh, something over here. <laughs> and choose edit and define pattern again. I can change the name if I like, but again, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'll press OK. And here, I'm going to now click on F and choose pattern overlay. So this time, because I chose a bigger resolution, I get a bigger, a higher quality. And remember that you can change this what, wherever you like by moving the pattern from within the text. Is this clear? So that's another way than the one we took last time. 